Hey guys, this is a video number three <laughs> in the series of how to go from one body type to another. Today we're going to be talking about an inverted triangle. Now, an inverted triangle is near and dear to my heart because that is the body shape I started off with before I had a BBL or had before I had any type of like body modification period like an inverted triangle is typically associated with like an athletic body which yeah I was an athlete so <laughs> so I had that body type I personally wanted to change to like an hourglass but that was my personal preference doesn't have to be your personal preference we're just discussing how to go from one body type I want to say it again typically there's a million beautiful body types out there but we're just gonna you know break y'all down to five different body types if you don't perfectly match one that's okay you know as long as you have like a good idea of like where you're starting and where you need to go you know it's all good um also typically typically you're probably not typical but typically if someone is trying to change your body type from one type to another typically they're trying to go to they're trying to get to either a pear shape or an hourglass shape okay so for the sake of discussion we're gonna just discuss those how to get to those two body types because usually those are the ideal of course beauty comes in all shapes and sizes you do not need to change yourself if that's not what it, if that is not what you want to do however if you are on this channel, typically you have a little interest, okay? So that's how we gotta do it. So again, inverted triangle, let's talk about it. All right, guys, so inverted triangle, that's where I started. And I made a whole video about body types. Watch it, you know, watch it, it's good. Watch it, I'm really entertaining, watch it. Um, but just a brief summary of what an inverted triangle is. That's typically when you are like slender, but you have like wider shoulders. And again, it's usually a body type associated with like athletes or an athletic bill. And like some inverted triangles actually can have like, whoop, like big butts. Like it's a, a very popular body type with like athletes, runner. It's a beautiful body type. Um, if you want to stick with it, please do. Uh, but me personally, I wanted to be an hourglass, which I eventually achieved. And I will tell you how I did it and how you can do it. So basically, uh, with the inverted triangle, you're usually already slim and trim. You're already in good shape, which is good, which means you're, you could be very close to your ideal body type. The only thing you have to do is worry about gaining more weight on your bottom half which is kind of similar to how a ruler would gain weight. But the only exception is the difference is like a ruler because they tend to have like slimmer shoulders, they don't have to gain as much weight to be. If you're in inverted triangle, you probably have to do something to increase the volume of your lower half because you probably don't gain weight in your lower half. Or if you do, it'll probably go to your stomach first, which was the case for me. So yeah. So some alternatives for you. Uh, so the good part is that you probably already have like a nice swim, slim waist. So like opposed to an apple, you don't have to worry about making your waist smaller. It's probably already small. We just gotta worry about the bottom half. But like I said, you're gonna have a little more work than a ruler because they have uh, slender shoulders and you have wider shoulders. So you're gonna need a little more volume. So let me tell you how I did it. So I, so I did it by getting a BBL which if you're not familiar with the BBL is basically a fat transfer when you take fat from your stomach, your flanks, or your back and you put it on your butt and your hip area. That's what it is. So I did that. So when I originally got my, well no, I, when I originally made the decision I was pretty thin. I was like 120, 120 pounds. Um, but I decided to gain weight for the surgery and it was like super difficult because um, I didn't know anything about gaining weight but I do now so maybe I'll make a video on that if you want to hear about how to gain weight let me know let me know in the comment section but anyway uh, I, I gained like 10 pounds for the surgery and I was still pretty small 130 it's still pretty small and uh, I got the surgery and it definitely made a difference like I definitely had more volume on the bottom but I didn't quite 
have enough. So I had to like continue to gain weight after that. So now I'm like 166. <laughs> I don't think I look it. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a heavy person. I think I'm just dense. I think I'm just like a dense person. But I'm like 166 now. And so I had to gain, even after the surgery, I had to still continue to gain weight. So what is that? Like 30 pounds, like 35 pounds. So total, I had to gain about 45 pounds, which is kind of wild to even think about. I had to gain about 45 pounds to get to the body shape I want, which is a hourglass. For the most part, I'm still pretty slender, but I have an hourglass, I have a small waist, you know, got some hip action going, and then I got a whoo, nice booty. Again, if you're interested in seeing how I looked, check out uh, my video about my uh, BBL journey, because it's like, really awesome you know I'm really happy with my results and I want you to be happy with your results too so anyway I'm getting off on a tangent the point of the story is if you are inverted triangle like I used to be you're gonna have to concentrate on getting that booty and them hips bigger and probably the only way you're gonna be able to do that is with some type of modification so either with a BBL or you can also get injections as I said before I'm not really a fan of injections but hey you know Everybody's different. Everyone has different needs and wants and desires. So you just have to pick what is right for you. So stay athletic, stay slim and trim, but you're just gonna have to, uh, you know, get some more cushion and a pushing back there. Same thing if you wanna go from an inverted triangle to a pair, you're really gonna need, <laughs> you're really gonna need to, um, you know, make have a dramatic result. So you're gonna have to, make sure those hips are pretty big. So you're probably going to have to get the modification and gain weight like I had to. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. I still look small. Like I'm still, I'm still good. Like, you know, you can gain weight and still look small. You still can look good, you know, but you know, if you, if you want to balance out the shoulders and the hips, you're just going to have to, you're just going to have to add more volume, ladies. You're going to have to add more volume. So that's pretty much it. So that's like the end of the series. Like obviously, you know, you may have a different preference like you may want to be like an apple and go to a ruler and then that's pretty easy you know just lose weight so just lose a lot of weight and you could probably get from apple to a ruler since you know obviously rulers are you know typically pretty small and tender pretty tiny ladies so you know that's it that's the end of the series. I hope it was helpful. I'm definitely gonna do a series where I talk about like the whole process of like how you can like get from point A to point B. This was just like a quick summary of like what measures you would have to take to get from one to the other. I just gonna be coupled with that series. So watch it. Yes, it's really good and informational and I'm like really entertaining and funny. At least I think I'm funny. <laughs> so what Tell me what your goal is. Like, you know, leave section, leave your comment. I can't talk. Leave your comments in the comment section. Tell me what you think. Give me your opinion. Do you just love yourself? Do you want to stay the same? Do you have one shape? Are you an inverted triangle like me? And you want to get to like, you know, Buffy the body. Like, is that what you're trying to do? Or wait, that's an old reference. Let me do better. Maybe you're trying to get to Kim Kardashian. You're trying to get to like, you know, a Kylie Jenner or something. You know, just tell me what you, how you feeling. Talk to me. I want to know. I want to know all about you. Tell me about you. Okay. Anyway, that's it in the video. Thank you for watching. I so much appreciate you.